They were cheering everything he was saying negative about teachers. So what I did was get in line to speak to Chris Christie. Governor, only pay me for the 184 days I work here in Rutherford. Know what that equals? $83,000 a day. And I'm begging you to pay me $83,000. Well, he got very angry. You're getting paid more than that if you really? include, it's if you include the cost package. of your benefits, if right, you include the cost of your pension, and you include your paid holidays. I'm still, I'm still $14,000 less. I'm still 14, and you know, you're not compensating me for my education, and you're not compensating me for my experience. That's well, you know what? Then you don't have to do it. And you know what the point was? I wasn't trying to say I don't like my job. See, that's the part that he wasn't listening to. Teachers do it because they love it. Well, that's, that's the good. Whole and, reason I do it. Well, and and you and listen, and teachers go into it knowing what the pay scale is. That's teachers right. go into it knowing all that. When he started hollering. Don't forget, I'm a teacher, so I'm like, oh my God, I'm in trouble. You know, the first thing I thought in my head was, I'm in big trouble. What I'm saying is that in times of economic crisis, this whole argument is over the fact that I asked people to not take a raise for a year and to pay 1.5% of their salary towards their benefits. And your union has said that that, that that is the greatest assault on public education in the history of the state. And then I just was overwhelmed that somebody would speak to me that way. Totally overwhelmed. I, I, actually, I don't. I might even have been crying a little bit. That's why the union has no credibility. Stupid statements like that. How could a governor scream at a person? I just thought he'd talk to me. Mm -hmm. I thought he would talk. That's not the way a, a governor should act. St. Luke's is the largest black church in Patterson. Now I was way back. I was way back. I was about three quarters back, huh? And, and that's a big church. What I hear is the despair. I hear the despair of folks. He has a new program. <laughs> We're giving vouchers to those who need to go to private and Catholic schools. And everybody start yelling and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hollered. We live in the most successful country ever in yeah, the world. Right. And you tell me you can't fix the yeah, problem. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you, I'll tell you that if you give me the opportunity to set up competition, yeah, yeah, if you give me the chance, you give me the chance to set up competition for the public schools, sir. No competition. No competition. Well, let me just say this. People started hollering to throw me out. And the security and police moved to throw me out. And the governor stopped. And the governor stopped. Hey, this is sir. I'm not asking you to leave. Guess what? Guess, guess who's running the show? Me, not them. I don't want you to leave it. You want to yell and scream, you yell and scream. You know, that's the way it goes. Everybody gets their opportunity to do something, but you got to give me the chance to answer the questions. He doesn't scare me. I mean, they had me in jail. I mean, what, what can they do? Yeah. Put me in jail? Right. <laughs> you know? I literally, like, walked in. I stood there and he was saying, yes, thank you very much. And you know, now we'll take questions. And then I just walked right up to the mic. New Jersey has some of the best schools in the country. And this administration has done nothing but lambaste us and tell us what horrible schools we have. I didn't really ask him a question. I told him how I felt. And I feel like you have alienated so many people with your rhetoric about how we are bilking this state of all this money. Well, a uh, few things. First of all, I have not lambasted the public school system in the state of New Jersey. I just went, <laughs> I mean, I just did, I, I did exactly that. Well, listen, let's start with this. I sat here, stood here, and very respectfully listened to you. If what you want to do is put on a show and giggle every time I talk, well, then I have no interest in answering your question. I really didn't care what his reaction was. Mm -hmm. um, I needed to go there because my profession and my students were being attacked unjustly. I made Christy kind of look like a jerk a little bit, I think. We're watching him set up, and this is where they're playing the Springsteen music constantly. Like, they were playing a lot of it. Even, I think is, I'm pretty sure, they played We Take Care of Our Own, which mm -hmm. it just kills me when he plays that. He always says, all right, this is the last question. Let's make a good one. So I'm like, ooh, ooh. I think it was like six or seven Bruce Springsteen songs before you got here. <laughs> uh, I, but I was under the impression, I thought I heard that Bruce asked that 
none of his music was played at your events because he didn't believe in your politics? No, he never did that. the uh, poor people and the uh, middle class people of the state? No, you're wrong about that. At that point, I actually believed that it, he asked. I, you know, I was unclear. Bruce has never I, asked me to. Bruce has never asked me to do that. He just like went off. I saw Bruce about a week and a half ago, um, and he had every opportunity to tell me not to. He didn't. And he never has told me not to I'm do it. I'm pretty sure that. Now, you're, listen. I I know him, yes. and I know him, and you're wrong. And I understand yeah. you're you're now expressing your He's politics. My neighbor. You're, yeah, you're now expressing your politics and your objection, and that's fine. No. Don't put it in Mr. Springsteen's mouth. Put it in yours. If you have an objection to it, then you object. Okay, then, okay. You have every right to object to it. Okay. But don't put it in Bruce's mouth, because I know Bruce, and I've spoken to Bruce, and you're wrong. He's a wise guy. He says to the, uh, his people, he said... Baby, guys, um, just when I leave, just so we can have this lady be a little calmer, um, let's play Bon Jovi on the way out. So she a little calm. That actually did get me upset because I thought I was calm. But he made it sound like I was yelling or something. When it was all over, I took out the sign and I just stood there. It wasn't that I was intending to get him mad, but I liked that it happened. <laughs> um, Maybe it was my intention a little bit. <laughs>